to Mimi's Kitchen on this beautiful Monday. Oh, y'all, it is just so pretty outside. It just makes you want to get out and dig in the dirt. But I suppress that. <laughs> and I decided to stay in the kitchen. So today we have our mind on, on things for our Easter buffet, brunch, whatever you have on Easter um, Sunday. And so one of the things that I always serve, and it goes so good with ham, or any kind of meat that you're going to serve is brown rice. And y'all, it is so simple, of course, you know. So we're just going to get right to it, and I'm just going to show you exactly how we're going to do this, y'all. So it's very limited ingredients. You probably got most of this right there in your pantry. All right, the first thing I use is a long grain. Well, this says extra long grain rice. So, um, I like the Comet brand, but of course they didn't have it today. So, I got my Hatma, but hey, any of it's good. Any of it's good. So, we're going to do two cups. Now, this is a recipe that you can adjust. If, if you want to make just a little bit, then you do one cup. But, um, this is two cups of rice. All right, we put that in there. And then it calls for beef consomme and beef broth. So we'll put those in. And y'all, what I do is I measure this. I just pour it in my measuring cup just to be sure because I want four cups of liquid. So we want to be sure that that's just what we get. And you can put it in any order. It really doesn't matter. Okay, let's see, okay, okay. All right, that's two cups. Pour that right there on the rice. Okay. And y'all, I'm gonna tell you, if you want to put mushrooms in this, you can just put just a little jar of mushroom or mushroom pieces or whatever. Um, that's something that you can add to this. Okay. Now. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add just a smidgen of water to that. Okay. Now. All right. The next thing we do is we melt a stick of butter. <laughs> Y'all, so I, I was looking through a recipe book the other day for something, and somebody had this recipe in their cookbook, and they called it a stick of butter rice. And I'm like, oh, I like that name. <laughs> so I'm going to put a stick and a half of butter in this so that um, it's nice and buttery. So let's melt that. Y'all, if you need the recipe, it's in Mimi, uh, Sunday Lunch at Mimi's on page 23. Right there. Simple as simple can be. All right, while that's heating, I want to show you. I have set my oven on 350 degrees. That is 350 degrees. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to... Just stir this up a little bit. Y'all, you don't need to put salt in here because um, this soup is very salty, so we don't want to overdo the salt thing. So we're going to get this butter in here. And this is um, it is called a four-liter casserole dish, and it's made by Corningware. And um, if you don't have a covered casserole, that's okay. Just make it, uh, put it in a casserole dish, and then when you get ready to, to cook it, it needs to be covered. Then you can just put um, tin foil over it. Okay, now, just go stir that up just a little bit. You don't need to stir it much. Put our top on it. Sitting on there, right? All right, KK, let's get this in the oven. 
and y'all it bakes for one hour now how easy is this and y'all you can make it the day before and so when you're trying to get everything ready for your Easter lunch and you know how you don't want to have everything that you have to make it the last minute you can make this the the day before and um and then just stick it in your microwave and heat it before you serve it with your lunch now while this is cooking in a minute we're going to make some deviled eggs but kk is going to um run outside and she's going to show you my chinese snowballs oh y'all they are beautiful Okay, y'all, while this rice is cooking, we're going to make some deviled eggs. Now, on Sunday, everybody has their job when they come in from church. Uh, Teresa fixes the glasses and the silverware and the napkins. Katrina reheats all the food that needs to be heated. And KK <laughs> does the deviled eggs every Sunday. <laughs> y'all, she does them better than anybody else. Now, we have one of those cute little um, plates that has the cavities in it, but I'm gonna show you a cute way to do this for Easter Sunday, because this kind of looks like grass. So we're gonna put our lettuce, and that is just shredded, well, <laughs> that way, uh -huh. shredded iceberg lettuce. Y'all, that's just easy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we just cut our egg in half here, put our yellows in there, I should have made KK get prepared and do this today. Y'all been wanting to see her and this would be a good day. I don't know how we gonna get her on this camera. She said, mama, who's go video? She said, oh, that's a good question. I said, I could try. I got them all cut. I did six eggs is what I did. And now we just go mash these up just with a fork. Same kind of fork you eat your meal with. Just smash them up really good. Now y'all, when you start putting your mayonnaise in, um, you can always add mayonnaise. So this is two tablespoons. We're gonna add just a little bit of mustard. Um, we really just gonna put just a squirt of mustard in there. Just like that. And then just mix this in with our eggs. And what you do is you just kind of watch your consistency because you want enough filling to put in all of these eggs. And so, see, you can tell from that, we've got to have more mayonnaise than that. All right. Okay, okay, here we go. I'll put another tablespoon in there. She's the master of this, y'all. She ought to be doing it. Okay. Well, they know it's because I don't cook. <laughs> If this qualifies as cooking, y'all, we could call her that she does cook something. Of course, she doesn't boil the eggs. All she does is the finished product. Some people put pickles in this, and that's okay. We just don't like the pickles in it, so we're not gonna put pickles in it. But if you want to, you can add that. All right. All right, let's see, KK. We'll start with this much. We can always go back and add it. And y'all, deviled eggs is something good to have on your buffet. Everybody loves them. I have them every Sunday and they all get eaten. Okay, y'all, here we go. Now, nothing would be complete without a little bit of paprika. And you know what? We gonna leave just a couple of eggs without it because you've always got that one little person that says, I don't like paprika on my eggs. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we left two for you. Oh, y'all, isn't that beautiful? Now look, that lettuce is perfect. And the thing of it is, 
you can serve the lettuce with the egg. I mean, people can just scoop it up and so um, they have them a little mini salad. So that is just a wonderful addition and um, to your Easter buffet. And if you need to make a bunch, just make a bigger platter and put the lettuce on it. And that would just make a beautiful addition. So y'all will be back, the rice is cooking. Okay, y'all, that sound we all wait for. The magic sound now, time is up. All right, we're gonna get this out of the oven. Ooh, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, that is beautiful. I wish I had me a big old slice of ham to go with it. Oh, y'all look. Mm. Oh, You'd be proud to have that on your buffet. Okay, y'all. Now, before I serve this, I always just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Just make it look plump. Oh, oh, it smells so good, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now then. Okay, okay. Let's put some, just, let's put some on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll tell you what now. Well, let's use one with the paprika. If we, had, if we had us a big plate, you could see how pretty that would be. Say with ham and maybe some sweet potatoes and some green beans and maybe some squash cooked with onions. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry, KK. Mm -hmm. This is just a nice addition to any buffet. And it's nice and tasty. You can serve it with any kind of meat. And it just makes just a good side dish. So when you're planning all your stuff for Easter, this is something good. And like I told you, you can make it the day before. So that helps a whole lot too. I hope that you have a good rest of the week. Y'all, this weather is just beautiful. We just go enjoy it and take it day by day. And just thank the Lord for the uh, beauty that he sends us this time of year. I hope you have a good time with your family. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus.